Hi friends, today I am bringing out a topic of great interest to you because of which the career of FCA as well as state government agencies employees generally remain at stake because of imposition of quality cut on yield grain and the moisture by the FCA while taking delivery from uh, the state government agencies and also in respect of FCA stock which is dispatched from their own bounds the recipient where the stocks are dispatched they raise LAS on account of these quality cuts so almost all the applies are suffered on account of this uh, since there is a cute ambiguity in the prevailing instructions on this account regarding imposition of quality cut on bevel grain or the watcher so i have brought out this uh, topic as all of you know that the wheat is procured by the fc and the state agencies from the farmers at msp particularly in the wheat growing states and while procuring these stocks such those are c procured within the prescribed uniform specification released by the government of india every year and after procurement these stocks are transported to the respective warehouses by fc and the state government um, and preserved in a central pool for one or two years so at the time of delivery of wheat procured and stored by the state agencies FCA imposes quality cut on weevil grain and the moisture so similarly FCA stock when dispatched to the destination from their own grounds the destination raises alias against these cuts so i feel that these quality cuts should not be imposed so that's why i have brought out this video so if you look into the slide the quality cuts by the fca on yield grain and moisture in wheat is illegal according to me no such provisions is in existence no instruction have ever been issued by the government of india or the food corporation of india fca imposes the quality cuts as i have told you at the time of taking delivery at the rate of rupees 2 per quintal if the weevil grain is more than 0% even if it is 0.1% the quality cuts are imposed uh, i feel that there are no such instructions of imposing the quality cut uh, quality cut on the weevil grain similarly uh, quality cuts are imposed by the fc on moisture at the time of taken delivery of the wheat from the state government agencies and at the destination also and such cuts are imposed at full value for the moisture beyond 12%, 12%. no fc cannot impose such quality cuts as government of government or fca itself has not issued any such instructions for imposing quality cuts at the time of taken delivery from the state procurement agency throughout the india and that to after storage of the wheat let me draw your attention towards the uniform specification issued by the government of india for the rms 20 2023-24 these specifications have two specific clauses on the footnote one is on weevilization and other is a moisture no clause f note 6 note para 6 regarding weevilization read out what it is for weevilled grain determined by count method stocks containing weevilled grain in excess of 
I am repeating in excess of 1%, in excess of 1%, again repeating, will be rejected. The rate of cut for weevil grain will be rupees 2 per quintal. In excess of 1% means up to 1% the wheat can be separated from the farmers at the time of procurement. This means even the farmers can deliver the wheat containing weevil grain up to 1%. Right. Now coming to the master clause. Clause F of note para 1. Right. Regarding moisture yields. Moisture in excess of 12% and 14% means 12 to 14% will be discounted at full value. Stocks containing moisture in excess of 14 are to be rejected. Very, very, very clear. Right. Now, uh, it is worth mentioning that above uniform specifications which I have read out are meant for procuring wheat from the farmers in the mandi and not for the wheat stored in the grounds. Okay. The said classes are applicable only on farmers at the time of procurement of wheat right in the mandi itself. Such quality cuts are to be imposed on the farmers not on the implies man. If the farmers offer wheat not conforming to the limit as prescribed in the uniform specifications or in the footnote, then these cuts are to be recovered from the farmer only. Okay. I am very clear, clear about this. Further, once the stocks have been procured from the Monday by the state agency or the FCA, uh, they store it in the respective warehouses. Okay. Thus, the effect of the universe specification is no more applicable on the stored stock. Why? Wheat is stored in covered and cap for one or two years. But natural, there shall be change in the quality and the moisture content despite best storage practices. Vivalization, it, it must be noted, Vivalization even cannot be fully controlled in the most modern storage structure that is steel silos. There also three type, three rounds of the fumigations are being given. Still the vivalization comes in. So why I say that the specifications are not uh, applicable in the stored wheat? Because Different quality parameters have been prescribed by the Government of India and the FCA, including FSSI, for the preservation and storage of wheat in the grounds. What are these? This category and the classification. Very clear. Category, you know, depicts what is the status of the vivalization and classification, the degree of infestation. Now, the content of the moisture content is the third uh, parameter which is maintained depending upon the atmosphere relative humidity and beyond the control of women. Thus, the role of universe specification is over once the stocks are under storage and is in the warehouses. Right. Now, I am taking, your, taking you to the FC instructions and uh, Government of India approved instructions. All stocks of the wheat, as per those instructions, stored in FCA with FCA in the central pool shall be divided into two categories. So the wheat stored with the state agency is also stored under central pool. So this is applicable on that also. So they have divided into two categories. Number one, issual stock and two is non-issual stocks, very broadly. What are the issual stock which is fit for human consumption? and is within FSSA or PFA standard, earlier PFA standard was there. And non-issuable which is unfit human consumption. So it's very clear. Now, FC instructions further divide the issuable stock take into two heads. What are those? One is ready stock and other is uploaded stocks. Now I am reading out ready stock, definition of reading stock. What are these? Weed stocks of A and B categories conforming 
टू पी एफ ए स्टैंडर्ड नो एफ एस आई स्टैंडर्ड एंड फ्री फ्रॉम इंसेक्ट इन्फेस्टेशन राइट हैविंग फॉरन मैटर अप टू वन परसेंट इनक्लूडिंग इन ऑर्गेनिक मैटर अप टू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट दी स्टॉक्स ऑफ वीट मे बी इशूड अंडर पी डी एस एंड अदर वेलफेयर स्कीम ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया ओके सो दिस वॉज रेडी स्टॉक वट इज अपग्रेड स्टॉक और स्टॉक्स ऑफ वीट अदर दैन रेडी स्टॉक बट कंटेनिंग डैमेज ग्रेन विद इन द पी एफ ए और द एफ एस एस ए लिमिट शेल फॉर्म द पार्ट ऑफ द ग्रेड अपग्रेड स्टॉक राइट सो रेडी स्टॉक मीन्स ए एंड बी कैटेगरी नो आई एम टेकिंग यू टू द इंस्ट्रक्शन इशूड बाय द एफ सी अंडर देयर कंपेडियम ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन फॉर डिस्पोजल ऑफ नॉन इशेबल एंड डैमेज फूड ग्रेन इंक्लूडिंग नॉन इशेबल कोर्स ग्रेन बाय द एफ सी हेल्ड इन द कस्टडी ऑफ एफ सी एज वेल एज स्टेट गवर्नमेंट एंड इट्स एजेंसीज ओके द स्पेसिफिक गाइडलाइंस ऑफ वीट टू बी इशूड अंडर रेडी स्टॉक्स आर रिप्रोड्यूस आई एम रिप्रोड्यूसिंग वट इज रेडी स्टॉक अगेन आई एम टेकिंग द स्टोर्ड वीट कैन वेरी वेल बी डिलीवर टू द एफ सी आई प्रोवाइडर इट फॉल्स अंडर द पैरामीटर्स एज प्रोसाइड अंडर द डेफिनेशन रेडी स्टॉक नो एज पर एफ सी एंड गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया रेडी स्टॉक्स विद ए एंड बी कैटेगरी ए एंड बी कैटेगरी आई एम रिपीटिंग यू नो ए कैटेगरी मीन्स द वीवेलाइजेशन इज अप टू वन परसेंट बी कैटेगरी मीन्स द वीवेल ग्रेन विल बी अप टू फोर परसेंट राइट दिस इज द डेफिनेशन ए एंड बी कैटेगरी रेडी स्टॉक राइट सो सो देर इज नो प्रोविजन ऑफ एन इक्वालिटी कट ओन दी वीवल ग्रेन ओन दी डिलीवरी ऑफ ए एंड बी कैटेगरी बीट मीन्स वीवल ग्रेन अप टू फोर परसेंट कैन बी डिलीवर टू द एफ सी आई बाई दी स्टेट एजेंसीज एम ईवन बाई दी एफ सी आई एंड द डेस्टिन शुड एंड अपोज द क्वालिटी कट ओन वी विल ग्रेन अप टू फोर परसेंट वेरी वेरी क्लियर हैड देर बिन एनी प्रोविजन ऑफ द ऑफ सच कट्स गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया ऑफ द एफ सी आई शुड हैव मैंशन इन द सेम इन द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द सी रेडी स्टॉक बट दैट हैज नॉट बिन मैंशन जेंटलमैन नो वेयर इट इज रिटर्न दैट द वीट विच एन द स्टोर क्वालिटी कट्स ऑन मॉइस्चर एंड आर टू बी इम्पोज सो अगेन आई एम टेकिंग यू टू बैक टू दी यूनिफॉर्म स्पेसिफिकेशन ऑन दी फुट नोट रिगार्डिंग रिविलाइजेशन देयर इट इज रिटर्न के अप टू वन परसेंट विज विवल ग्रेन द स्टॉक्स कैन बी सेप्टेड फ्रॉम दी फार्मर अप टू वन परसेंट वेरी पीटिंग सो सिमिलरली एफ सी शुड ऑल्सो सेप्टेड इफ इफ एट ऑल द यूनिफॉर्म स्पेसिफिकेशन आर 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 सी आर मेड एप्लीकेबल एट द टाइम ऑफ डिलीवरी दे शुड नॉट बी एनी क्वालिटी कट अप टू वन परसेंट इट इज वेरी क्लियर बट क्वालिटी कट्स आर बींग अपोज सो वाई दिस डिस्पैरिटी इफ यू आर नॉट इम्पोजिंग एनी क्वालिटी कट अप टू वन परसेंट वी विल ग्रेन ओन दी फार्मर देन वाई इट इज बींग सी लेवीड ओन दी एफ सी स्टॉक एट द डेस्टिनेशन और द स्टॉक्स बींग डिलीवर्ड बाई दी स्टेट एजेंसी टू दी एफ सी why the such cuts are being imposed that is the question now coming to the master master cuts are also gentlemen as per uniform specification are imposable on the farmers theek okay. hai the such cuts are um, both at the full value and note it there are no such specific constructions issued by the government of india or the fc for imposing quality cuts on the wheat which is in storage after the same has been procured by the state agency or the fc itself under the definition of the ready stock it is written that it should be within the fssi specification now i am coming to the S, what the fssi says as per fssi specifications explained under para 2.4.6 of chapter 2 food product under food product standard the maximum limit of moisture for wheat has been prescribed as 14% verbatim i am i am reproducing the para right see in the red please in the screen 
moisture not more than 14% by weight obtain in bread obtained by heating the pulverized grain at 130 dash 133 degree celsius for 2 hours so okay so it may be noted that all the universal moisture meters which we are using every state agency and fc is using those are calibrated under the principle on the principle of hot air air method only as i have mentioned at 130 and 133 Uh, dd celsius so it means up to 14% wheat can be accepted right and no quality cuts should be imposed now how come quality cuts as well as storage grain i am very much astonishing on one side see uh, the wheat can be procured under uniform specification from the mandi from the farmers at msp at 12% moisture when state agency procure the wheat at 12% they are also supposed to deliver storage grain as per icr norms you know but natural moisture content shall increase during the storage means it will may go beyond 12% only then the storage can be given by uh, to the fca at the time of delivery so but fca imposes quality cut beyond 12% as well as demand storage gain as per icr norms how it can be thus fc should either impose this moisture cut or demand storage gain on wheat very very clear so demanding both quality cut as well as storage gain at the time is totally illegal unjustified and beyond the understanding of any any human thus fc not imposing Uh, any quality cut generally when the stocks are dispatched from their own grounds yes destination is there when their stock goes to the destination there is ls and impose the quality cut and those are covered from the fc own people so that's what i say fc apply as well as the state agencies are suffering because of these wrong uh, implementation of the instructions while working in punjab state department for 11 years after my retirement from the fca i came to know the magnitude of these quality cuts which runs into crores you know and the poor staff is paying out of their salaries how illegal it is fc people are also suffering they are being issued charge sheets for the recovery of the losses so their career is at stake they do not retire safely i am not against any particular department or the government of india but such recoveries do not fall under the ambit of the existing guidelines and instructions in the book thus i appeal to the government of india and the food commission of india is that to reexamine this issue on the top priority and save the innocent staff and officers engaged in procurement and storage of wheat throughout the country and may issue clear cut instructions thank you very much for uh, bearing with me and uh, this topic is a very uh, is of great interest and pertaining to every employee of the any food and handling agency uh, i request that it should be widely circulated thank you very much god bless you